your boy just don't know nowadays, man. Is the hate really that real? What's going on, fellas? This your boy B Dot back with another quick video. Just real quick, man. I'm in the crib right now, about to get ready to head out for a second, man. Get a little exercise, yeah, you know, all that kind of stuff during the quarantine. But I was reading through some of the comments, man. Some of the Scotch Porter comments on different websites, on different YouTube videos, and stuff like that, man. I'm just really, really baffled at where the hate really comes from, man. I mean. I don't know. I mean, Scotch Porter reformulated their products. They brought out something new for you guys, added a little biotin in it for you guys. And um, a lot of other companies are starting to reformulate their products and do different things. And um, all I'm saying is big ups. I'm only saying big ups to these other companies. You know, when before in some of the comments I would read, oh, they reformulated their products. Oh, they shouldn't have fixed it if it wasn't broke. They're doing something different. And, um, all they're selling out there in Target right now. And I'm like, you read them and you be like, okay, I just see these comments. I'm like, okay, where's the hate really coming from? You know what I'm saying? Is it a is it a racial thing? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But it but it really, really gets to me, man, when I see that. And I know how genuine I am with you guys and how I treat everybody. You know, uh white, black, whatever. You know, I treat everybody the same. You know what I'm saying? That uh and people usually treat me the same as well. But I'm reading like some of the ingredients on the Scotch port I got right here in my hand right now, the conditioner and the wash. And um, I'm just looking at it, you know, and I'm like, okay, we're men, of course. You know, you go to the store, you want to go buy you some deodorant or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You're pretty much going to get a man's deodorant. You're not going to go to a store and buy a lady's speed stick. You buy a lady's speed stick because it's not formulated for a man so it's probably not going to work for you and you're going to be funky in about an hour scotch porter comes out with something now i don't even got my fred sanford glasses on but i can see this beard wash says for dry and coarse beards and i'll put it right here on the screen see if you guys can read that bit of focus for dry and coarse beards on the bottom and on the conditioner it says the same thing for dry and coarse beards so i'm wondering if a company tells you even though they did a reformulation or added some different things to the product to make it better. If they're telling you this is for dry and coarse beers and you don't have a dry or coarse beard, you know, how are you using the product and what are you looking for the product to do for you? Now, I understand we all have dry beers no matter what ethnicity we are. We all have dry beard at some point in time. But as far as the coarse beards, if that's why you are trying to use the product or it's not working for you and you got a a stringy beard, a flowing beard where you can use a Kent comb every which way, that's not a coarse beard. So maybe the product just doesn't work for you. But as far as the hate and all that kind of stuff, all they changed up, all they in Target now, they big box store, they this, that, and other, that to me sounds like hate. That to me, you're looking at a company and just because they're growing a little bit faster than somebody else who you like. I've even heard beer companies say, I'll never sell out. I'll never go to Target. I'll never get in Target. Now, why would you limit your growth opportunities to grow as a company by not going into Target or Walmart if Target or Walmart comes for you and wants you in their store or whatever, in their stores? Why wouldn't you take advantage of that and grow your company, man, and take care of your family and, and, and grab this big name for yourself as so-and-so, now in Target, now in Walmart? You know, why limit yourself like that? So when I see people that say stuff like that, I always think, dude, you're only saying that because they didn't come for you. No company has to check in with any of us before they put their product out. That's their product. That's their company. This is Scotch Porter. That is them. You know, people would always say, oh, B, man, well, you're an affiliate for Scotch Porter. I'm an affiliate for Scotch Porter. That's it. I don't get any lump sums of money or anything. All I get is when you guys use that link down below in the description and you go buy some Scotch Porter products, I get a small kickback from that. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like they're just giving me some money and I'm just like, oh, I just got to hype this company up. I just don't like bullies. I don't like people to be bullied. I don't like to bully people. So that's all I really see with this. Watch that Black Wall Street the other day, man. I was like... It's a lot of that going on right now in the beer community. And I'm like, damn, man, like the hate is really real out here. You know, people trying to grow, man, and grow their brand, and people are just, just joining this cult. And let's go over here and tear this down. So, 
XYZ can blow up a little bit more. I would love to get you guys feedback, man, down below in the comment section, man. What do you really think about the Scotch Porter products? Do you really think they're really getting a bad rep right now as far as the new formulation, as far as growing big and getting into Target and Walmart? So as always, this is your boy B. Dot. I want to thank you all for joining me today. Thanks for all the continued support. Continue to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos. And I'll holler back. Peace.